brought forward from Destiny 1, the Hunter Exotic chess piece, the Lucky Raspberry, maintains similar characteristics to its D1 counterpart. While never been particularly bad, the Lucky Raspberry did undergo a number of changes in the first Destiny game, which unfortunately did reduce the performance of the Exotic. We're in D2 now, with different weapons, subclasses, and skill trees, so the Lucky Raspberry needs to be reassessed to match the current playfield and see how it stacks up in a new environment. First things first, this is an arc based exotic, so the legendary mod we will want to choose should complement this. I would suggest going for an arc paragon mod, but a legendary arc ordnance mod would also be acceptable. Either way, just make sure it's an arc mod. The exotic perk on the Lucky Raspberry increases your chaining capabilities on arc bolt grenades, and has a chance to fully recharge your arc bolt grenade on a hit. Personally, I'm not a fan of these chance to do something exotics, since it will ultimately come down to luck whether or not it triggers. I've come to the conclusion that I typically shouldn't expect the recharge ability to trigger, so that way, when it does trigger, I'm always pleasantly surprised. Anyway, back to the build. We have an exotic that requires us to use both Arc Strider and, more specifically, Arc Bolt grenades. Considering the other grenade options that Arc Striders have available, Arc Bolts are probably the overall strongest in terms of reach and consistency. Before we select a skill tree, let's think about how we'd want to build. Lucky Raspberry is an exotic working exclusively with grenades, so a setup with a solid neutral game would be ideal. We would want to be able to use our arc bolt grenades as often as possible to get the most out of the extra chaining capability and free recharge. Out of the two options, only one perk node directly works with grenades, which coincidentally is the same skill tree I would recommend. The combat meditation perk in the Way of the Wind skill tree grants a drastically faster recharge rate on grenades and melee, but only while your health is in the red. Having our health in the red is not something we typically plan for, but let's be honest, it's something that happens very frequently. As crazy as it sounds, Hunters having their low recovery rate is actually ideal for combat meditation. The lower your recovery stat, the longer it takes for your health to regenerate, and thus more time you'll spend in the red. More time in the red means more combat meditation and more grenade and melee charges. So let's recap. Our arc bolt grenades are stronger, have a chance to completely come back after hitting a target, and will cool down quickly while we're injured. Now that we have a grenade centric build, where would it be worth using? PvE is probably not the best choice. The arc strider's neutral game is just okay in PvE. But arc bolt grenades are really nothing special. The thing that makes arc strider so potent against adds is the super, which can be further enhanced by the way of the warrior skill tree and the raiden flux chest piece. In short, don't bother with lucky raspberry in PVE. So PVP it is. Arc bolt grenades are pretty decent in the crucible right now, with decent range and chaining ability. Lobbing an arc bolt onto an objective or through a doorway can help you identify where enemies are within that room and engage them once they've been softened up. Getting a free grenade back just from chaining someone can be very powerful, but again, it will ultimately come down to luck whether or not it triggers. Combat meditation is also going to feature often in the Crucible, since getting put absolute in most encounters seems unavoidable. The question is going to be, is it worth using Lucky Raspberry over other exotics in the Crucible? As someone who likes to use Arcball grenades anyway, I would say probably yes. It's hard to dethrone the top PvP hunter exotics like Foe Tracer and Knucklehead Radar, but as far as Arc Striders go, Lucky Raspberry is a very sound choice. If you can get a hold of it, chuck on Lucky Raspberry and lob some Arc Bolts in the Crucible. Before I finish up, I was trying to see if there was any way to make Lucky Raspberry at least useful in PvE. Probably the most interesting, albeit not the most practical method I found, was using a grenade launcher like Play of the Game, where I would blast my feet to put myself into the red to trigger combat meditation and get my Arc Bolt grenade back faster. Not really ideal, but getting my charges back faster at least allowed me to use Arc Bolts more often, and give Lucky Raspberry more of a chance to trigger. So what do you guys think? Do you think Lucky Raspberry is a decent PvP exotic? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys.